We have a situation here. Lisa and I have been frustrated over the years with our lack of success with planted aquariums. I don't know what it is with plants, but they have been our nemesis for as long as I can remember. But that's all about to change. We were contacted by a company that you may have heard of. They are the largest producer of aquarium plants in the world, and they sell about 5 million plants per year. No biggie. Tropica hit us up and said, listen, we know you've been struggling. We want to fix that. Get a bunch of our plants, put them in your aquariums. We will walk you through the entire process. We will be with you. We won't let you fail. So we ordered a bunch of these plants from them. We paid full price for these plants. Nobody sent them to us so that we would say good things about them. They showed up a couple of days ago and Lisa is getting everything ready to escape her first tank with these plants. So let's go see how she does. All right, we've got everything set up here in the kitchen. Are you all set? I am not 100% all set. I'm just taking the plants out of the plastic, trying to get things ready for the scape, and we're gonna have to, you know, get everything taken apart and ready to go, basically. Yeah, and that everything is, we've got it all sprawled out here. Uh, we, we're fortunate in that we were able to grab some things, actually from our inventory, from our website, like the Malaysian driftwood, but, we don't carry rocks, so we had to run up to our favorite fish store in the world, House of Tropicals, up in Glen Burnie, Maryland, to pick up all of these rocks, as well as the three different types of substrate that oh, yeah. Lisa wants to use. We've got two of the, what is it, Carib Sea Supernaturals. Yes, yeah, and some of the sand. Um, sand and gravel. Yeah. And then we've got the fluval stratum. You've got your tools all set up here. Woohoo! And those tools have a special story. You brought these home for me. Uh, Rachel had given them to you. She couldn't board the plane with them. And Jen Williams had given them to her. And she had said, I can't get on the plane with these. I can't put them on my carry-on and take them on the plane. So give these to Lisa. So these are our special gift from Rachel and also Jen, yeah. even though she doesn't know it. <laughs> Jen gave them to Rachel, Rachel gave them to me, I gave them to you, and now here we are. <laughs> right. So these are the plants that we're gonna be using in this project. I don't know if all of them are gonna go in here, but we have these are all Tropica. We've got plot potted plants, not plotted ones, but potted plants and some tissue culture. Uh, you haven't gotten them all taken out of the bags yet, but we can yeah. still look at them. Some Anubias, I know how to say the name of that one. Uh, Cryptocorn, crypto, I can't read Just it through crypt. the camera. Let's just yeah, call we'll them call crypt. them crypts. And that's a. Like a. <laughs> yeah, so all you need to know is it's a mid, uh, like a center plant to go into a tank. So there you go. And the camera won't focus. And then the tissue culture is what? It's basically like a moss, it's a taxophilium. Okay. And I'm really excited about that because it's a really good grower. It just, it looks beautiful once it's on a, on something in the tank, whether it's stone or wood or whatever the case may be. It's a beautiful, beautiful type of like moss and I'm super excited to use we'll it. We'll put the names, the scientific names and all of that and maybe a little bit of the care because the cool thing is I'm gonna rob this Tropica includes a tag, which I'm never gonna get the camera to focus on. Maybe I can. Uh, the tag will tell you the care level, easy. That's what we want. Uh, it'll tell you basically where it goes in the tank, whether it's front, middle, or back, which is cool. And then they've got some uh, minor little care instructions on the back. But if we have issues, we're gonna go direct with them and they'll be able to help us out with that and the tank that she is going to be scaping is the five gallon bullet tank from Aquatop. We just got this one. I'm super excited about it. Let's stop talking. Let's start doing. Well, I decided just to use the exact same stone because I, I want to keep a more natural look.
so here you have it. This is what I came up with. This is my finished creation. Um, that's what I call it, a creation, because I put my heart and soul into creating this and I'm really happy with it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had to move a few things around a little bit here and there after I finished doing things. I realized some of the rotella needed to be moved over a little bit more. So I, I did that, moved a little bit of the gravel around, the little pebbles and fixed things here and there and tucked in the roots from the uh, Anubias. But things have really come together and I'm, I'm really excited about how it's gonna look in about another month. Also, I wanna mention that I, I added some of the Seekin Flourish root tabs down in the substrate for some of these uh, plants that, well, obviously have roots down in the substrate, just to give them some of the extra nutrients that they need. And as far as like the Anubias goes, I used the Easy Green just to give them their extra nutrients as well. Overall, I'm really happy with this tank. And one of the things that I did too was I added a little bit of the beta poop in there because I do water changes all the time, constantly in the beta room. So I took advantage of using the, the beta waste and I stuck it in there to help kickstart the cycle and uh, help the plants grow better. Anyways, like I said, I'm very excited about this tank. I can't wait to see how it turns out in about another month. I bet you have absolutely no clue what fish I'm gonna stick in this tank. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what fish you think I'm gonna stick in here because it's not gonna be the one you think it is. I hope you enjoyed the video because I had a lot of fun making it and it's like you were right there with me while I did the entire thing. So next week, John's gonna do a video, Escape. Who knows how it's gonna turn out, but I'm sure it's gonna look great and he'll go into so much more detail as far as like the tank and the tank size, the lights and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna get all that next week. I'll see you next time and I hope you have a wonderful day.